Come back home, get the W, you know, had friends, family in the stands, so I mean, it was awesome. I know I had a lot of people out there watching as well, so I mean, it was a good victory. Coming back home, being a game captain again with my, you know, with all the friends and family, you know, it means a lot. You know, it's truly a blessing. Never would have, you know, thought about it a couple years ago that I'd be ever a captain, you know, playing, even playing college football, but. You know, I guess, you know, today was that day. You know, those guys up front, you know, Ray, uh, Big Mike, and Jake, you know, being from Chicago, it was, it was definitely a little bit more fire in those guys. Mike, for one day at least, was Michigan State Chicago's Big Ten team? Um, I think so today. I guess I would say so. How many people did you have there? Um, top of my head, I couldn't even tell you, but I would say probably around, like, 15 maybe. Between the plays you make on fourth down and the sack that Raekwon had? Pretty good day for you guys. Oh yeah, no, we were celebrating. You know, we were cheering, and all we wanted to do at the end was just, you know, walk out with the W. Did you get both of those fourth down stops? Oh, uh, the second one. The second one, I tripped up the was it the running back or the quarterback? But I think uh, Drew Beasley was the one that actually finished the tackle. You, the the first, you got the first one though. I mean, yeah. How big was that? I mean, when they get down to the one, what are you guys saying in that moment? Um, you know, personally, me, you know, as being like the you know the brute guy or whatever you want to call it on the team, um, you know, on the defensive line, you know, I take really pride, a lot of pride in the goal line, and you know, I preach to those guys every day, you know, get low and just keep driving your feet, and you know, I went out there, did that, and was able to make that play. It was huge. You know, I thought after I made that play, you know, that we. Can do this, you know. We have the confidence. We got the guys up front, and we just kept talking to each other. And you know, that's kind of how it went the whole day. You were through so quickly on that play, though, the fourth down stop. Did you have an idea of where it was going, or had that happen? No, not really. I honestly thought they were just going to try to keep shoving it up the middle, you know, after they kept trying to do all that outside stuff. But no, I mean, I just. I wasn't expecting it at all, but I guess it got the job done. Yeah. What type of boost did that give you guys, Mike? You were playing well before that, but to sort of have that emphasis moment early on in the game? Um, what do you think that did for the defense? I mean, you know, anytime you get like a turnover, you know, turnover on down, stuff like that, you know, it's a huge boost for our defense. And, you know, not just the defense, but the team in general. You know, the offense can go out there, you know, they got the ball and they can drive it down the field. So, I mean, it's a huge boost for our team in general. Um, it was huge. Um, you know, was, they kept trying to run the ball, kept trying to get it in, you know, and our D-line did a great job clogging everything up. Um, safeties came down and made, made some great plays. Um, but definitely that fourth for one was real big. You know, obviously they didn't go for the field goal. Um, they they felt like they could score on that play. Um, you know, we we gave them a counter. The attitude and the mindset of a team. Um, you know, they could be done. You know, playing against the Northwestern team. You know, we have a lot of respect for those guys. You know, over the past couple of years, we weren't able to get any you know any W's. But you know, today was that special day, and you know, being able to do that was really special. Joe Bucci said that you had a few words to say last night. Um, I guess so. I don't know if I'd be able to say it today. Um, you know, a lot of swearing, cussing, stuff like that. But, you know, basically it just comes down to, you know, playing football, really. And that's kind of what I preach to the team. That was during a team meeting last night, the whole team? Um, usually we, like, have captain talk during, like, the meeting before. So we just, did, we just did that and, you know, gave a speech. To the whole team or the captains? The whole team. The whole team. And what were some – you can leave out the swearing, but what were some of the themes? I mean, it was – um, I mean, you know, it's – you know, everyone has a why, you know, everyone has a why, why you're out here, who you do it for, you know, everyone has something like that. And, you know, also one thing that Tyreek preached earlier in the year is opportunity. You know, we have the opportunity to be out here and not not everyone does. So if you take the opportunity away, you know, that why kind of, you know, starts to simmer down or starts changing and stuff like that. So, I mean, having the opportunity to come out here and play football every day, you know, it's a truly a blessing.